I mean, it's different for every story. Um, so, you know, I mentioned that we have beat reporters. They come in with um, pitches on stories that might necessarily be breaking news, but might be more, um, you know, a, a, they might be breaking the news, right? So um, they would come in with a pitch and we would talk about how it might work best on the web. Um, maybe we do it as an infographic if there's a lot of numbers and make it into something that would be you know, consumable by, uh, by our readers, viewers. Um, and, and then we would present it that way. Um, so, I mean, the process really depends on the story, I think. There's so much pressure to be out there really quickly, but even more pressure to get it right and to be accurate. So that's the one thing to stress is to not get swept up if a, you know, a Twitter storm starts happening and not getting swept up in that and really learning how to pump the brakes a little bit and, and verify the sources and call people and still do the original reporting when, some, when you see something happening online. It almost always starts with a question. Um, that'll either be based again sort of on the news or based something that, on something that we heard. Um, but that's sort of where we start. And, and then the trick is to answer that question. So, you know, to, to get the answer might require, first of all, finding the data behind that will help answer it. It involves sort of finding human beings to help us tell that story, to sort of convey a very personal angle to it. Um, it'll involve doing interviews with people who study it. It'll involve, you know, once we have a better sense of the answer, accountability interviews with regulators and politicians, drawing their attention to a problem that we've identified. Uh, we use a lot of resources, so we have, um, I mean, obviously we're online all day, so we're constantly on social media, we're constantly monitoring Twitter and Facebook for trends that are popping up or things that are really resonating with our audience. We also use uh, the wire service, and we have our own resources with the broadcast team here, so we're using information coming in from our own teams in broadcast and in online across the country. And then also we have a few real-time analytics um, programs that we use so we can see you know, what people are looking at at that, that very moment. So we can see what stories are doing well and what we might want to continue covering. It's not really ever, ever done. I, I think um, you know, once, once it goes up then it's, it kind of starts, right? Because then that's when the interaction starts with the, uh, with the audience. So, you know, we don't put anything up without uh, socialing it, and once you social it, then it becomes a discussion. Um, you know, so we have people coming to us, yeah, but what about, or, um, you know, what, but, or, but here's what I think, and then so that becomes, maybe that leads to, um, you know, a different angle on the story, or maybe that leads to an update, or maybe that's a new source. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's ever really over. And, it's, and then it's always there, right? So it, we can always go back to it. And we do that a lot, actually. We go back to our old stories and, and do updates and, and things like that. So yeah, it's, it's just kind of the beginning, I think.